Well, it's my great honor to be here. Hey, Vic. With this tremendous band, Mr. Billy Sheehan on bass. <laughs> Mr. Tony McAlpine on guitar. <laughs> my old friend, Mr. Derek Sherinian on keyboards. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sabian for having me here tonight. Um, it's been about 11 years since I've been coaxed into playing the NAMM show. And I swore I would never do it again. And I was out at dinner in September with um, Chris and Stacy from Sabian and Neil Peer was with us that night and they were trying to talk me into doing this show and I was like no way no way I'm not playing NAMM anymore too much pressure too many problems too many obstacles way too many musicians just watching and dissecting and analyzing and I don't need that pressure but then this wonderful band came my way and how the hell could I say no so here we are Quickly, I just want to say, let you know what we're doing here tonight. Those of you that know my background, you know my, my prog influences. You know my metal influences. You know my classic rock influences. But there was another side of music that I grew up listening to, and that was instrumental music. And uh, some of it with a, a bit of a fusion touch. Uh, bands like the Dixie Dregs and Return to Forever, Mahavishnu Orchestra. Uh, Frank Zappa's music, of course, and then a lot of solo artists. Like, for instance, uh, we started the show with a uh, with a Billy Cobham tune and a Jeff Beck tune. Yeah. So this type of background was a big, big part of my listening and, and growing up and developing when I was younger. And when I went off to Berkeley in '85, myself and John Petrucci and John Myung, we had a favorite album that we listened to like every day. It was one of our favorite albums of that year. And it was made by this this man to my right, Mr. Tony McAlpine. It was the, the Edge of Insanity album. It was uh, it was it was a a daily listen for the three of us. And of course, that album had the amazing Tony McAlpine on guitar. It also had the amazing Billy Sheehan on bass. And it had the amazing Steve Smith on drums. So when this lineup came together, I knew we had to play a track off this album. Have you, have you guys ever played this live? What is it? This has never been played live. This is, it took almost, I don't know, 25, 30 years to get it out live, but here we go, the live debut from Tony's Edge of Insanity album, This is The Stranger. Oh. 